Titan's Dead here, back to do another video review. This time, going to be reviewing Transformers Cybertron Primus, or Planet Cybertron himself, itself. Uh, <laughs> I got this figure a few years back. I think it was probably a maybe a year or so after Cybertron left the shelves, and I had a steady form of income that I got this from The Great Escape. Now, uh, when I had it, I had it with the packaging. The packaging has since been recycled. Uh, but uh, it had an interesting little quote on the box, say, See the sights of Cybertron. Well, to quote on the reviewer and what he said, and I have to agree with him, I really need a map to find those sights, because I have no idea where Tiger Pax is on this freaking planet. I would really like to know where that is. Oh, and for those who are wondering, that's not an impact crater. I think officially it's supposed to be some kind of fungus that once invaded Cybertron. I'm not entirely sure about this. But, yeah, it's planet Cybertron, and he transforms into Primus. Uh, now, he also comes with the Omega Lock. Uh, I also have all four gold cyber planet keys to put into this. So yeah, that's kind of awesome. Now normally when I plug when you plug this thing into Primus, this thing would light up. The LED, but the batteries have since died, and I haven't. You know, I don't even think I can get the batteries out at this point. I think the I think the screw that holds them in place has been stripped clean. So oh well. It was just a dinky little red LED. That didn't even make sense. They should have put a blue LED in to match the blue coloring. But yeah. This is Planet Cybertron. Now, it has... Well, officially, it has two modes. An attack mode, which kind of makes sense. A base mode, which makes no sense. Which we're not even going to show it because... Not going to bother with that. And officially, robot mode. So yeah. Now, officially, it does have an attack mode. You place the key here, and pull back. I gotta admit, as weird of an idea as seeing a planet completely rip itself apart to blast out two giant cannons, for planet Cybertron, this would make sense, especially if Megatron has had control of it for long enough and wanted to turn it into one giant weapon. Uh, even if that is not the case, I still think this is a great idea, especially if you have uh, the Unicron figure put in planet mode. You can have it look like Planet Cybertron is about to attack, is about to defend itself or attack back against Unicron. Still kind of cool. I also like to mention it has built in uh, feet, so you can stand this thing up on a flat surface. So that's a nice touch as well. Um. Uh, and for the most part, when it's all together, it's actually pretty all around round, except for a few exposed parts that are like the fists and the cannons. It's actually a round planet, which is kind of impressive. Um, so you got to do that to actually start transformation. You pull these down. Oh, and make sure that the knee bits are out all the way or it's hard to twist the waist around. Uh, and part of transformation is you actually have to use the Omega Lock to unlock certain pieces. That's a nice touch. It's I'm glad to see this isn't just a one note part for the figure. They actually thought it out and included come on. Oh come on. There we go. Actually included this thing to do more than just kind of open the big cannons. Um, I wish it did just a, just a little bit more, particularly in the fact that well, I'm going to take the one key out so you can see this. And hopefully I can peek through enough to show you. When you press this up, the shoulder pads are going to come up, the, the chest is going to open outward, and the head's going to pop up. It also will... If I can do this from behind... 
make his eyes glow. Here's the thing. That one instance is the only time that the figure has lights and sounds. There's no button. There's no button on the cannons. There's no button on the back. Nothing. The only way to get those light and sounds is to then plug this back in, pull it back down, then press it back up. There is, as far as I can tell, no other button. And that's, in my opinion, that's kind of a major flaw. That you have to plug something in just to get sounds. What the heck, Hasbro? You guys couldn't have thought to have maybe included another button somewhere? Anywhere! Heck, I'd take a crotch button if it would give me some more sounds. <sighs> but, yeah. Still, that's a mean looking. Uh, he's, yeah, huge. <whistles> big, big, big Primus. I really like this guy. Um, now, I, I don't know where I did with his Cyber Planet key. He does have one of his own. You can plug one in and cause his arm cannons to, I don't know, for whatever reason, bump up and extend out. Unfortunately on mine, the springs that hold the cannons back seem to be either the, either the clips that hold them are incredibly degraded or incredibly loose. I'm not sure which. Because I've seen reviewers who have this problem, and I've seen reviewers who don't have... Pardon me. Don't have this problem. So I don't know what's up. But yeah, I honestly don't like that look. I just kind of put his cannons back down and just let the cannons extend out. It's a lot easier. Uh, he does also have the over-the-shoulder cannons. He does have... <laughs> a Gatling gun... What I can guess is a missile pod, some kind of, and two other kind of laser cannons on both legs, plus a rack of different sized missiles, and on each leg also, well, if I can get it to come out, well, shoot, it won't come out. Oh, now I see how it's supposed to come out. I'm an idiot. Grabber claws. Now, I think think these are actually useful in the fort and the previously mentioned base mode but again I'm not gonna bother with it because all you do is kind of just lay Primus down it's stupid um, but yeah he's a nice figure he's very heavy um, a lot of heft to him um, he looks really cool I love the, I would I love the silhouette of this thing it looks awesome he also has posable figures. Fingers. Fingers. Eh. <laughs> um, and yeah, he can do the whole devil horns, flick you off, pointing action. Uh, and he, yeah, he does actually have individually jointed fingers like a regular hand. No thumb, though. Can't do the thumbs up. Oh, well. One can only hope so much. Um... And my figure actually also came with a little statuette of Unicron's head with, like, half the head destroyed and little tendrils coming out of the bottom. That's currently sitting on a shelf, and I'm not getting it back down. But, yeah. This, again, is really awesome. If you can find him, I really wouldn't pay more than $80. Uh, with everything that includes the Omega Lock, all of his missiles, and the Cyber Planet Key. Other than that, uh, if he's missing some stuff, I wouldn't pay more than 50 at best, just given his sheer size. Um, I would, I, though I do recommend this for any collector. Uh, even if you're not a fan of the Cybertron line, I th since this is really the only Primus officially transforms into Cybertron Primus, I still have to recommend this figure for you guys. No matter who you are, I think this is a great figure for you guys, for anyone to collect. Um, the posability is good. Heavy. 
clicky joints everywhere on this guy. So yeah, again, I think he's a great figure. Uh, I really do think this figure should be in everyone's Transformers collection. Uh, just because, I mean, it's the only figure that we also gives us Planet Cybertron. I can't think, I don't even think they did one for the, I don't even think they did a miniature Cybertron for the Titanium's line. So, yeah, definitely one to pick up. So, until next time, this is Titan Zed saying, I'll see ya when I see ya.